All right, instead of the G, E, C, we can play a little bit of that, of those minors, right? So instead of the G, we could do the E minor. That D minor in the C position is up one, okay? The D minor from the E position is part of the bar. This is a um, D minor shaped E minor is part of the bar there. I have to remember that. So you can put these minors in and it sounds pretty good. That kind of thing and we kind of move along here well, one method that you could use to get around the C minor and the G minor here's a G minor shape watch where these shapes are you may think they start out here and they actually start out here and end and end over here but you know the size of the box okay if you're in the ADE box that means A is the root so there's your A shape Okay, you can do it in in like pentatonics. All right, so let's 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 move up the line a little bit. So suppose we're on the D shape, and that's got to be a D shape G. So we're up here. So what I could do is you play a little lead on, so it goes. Okay, then you can get into the pentatonics. So it's going to be D, C, G, right? Okay, the D shape you don't want to climb all the way up from the bottom want to stick around where the action is so in that particular one I, I'm sorry I'm not I'm just not playing this as well as you know if it was I played it for the first time it's getting kind of old for me um, you got the D shape and then you could do like an e, a minor sub there but the, the and, and that is the sub for the C so it's like drop it down to an E minor now remember the G we could we could also uh, that C shape that G shape C could also have been a um, an A shape C so you could drop it down so you're going So you can once you work, work your way up a little bit, you can go back to one of the shapes that was there before. So that's you know that's pretty much what's going on. You, and we just go on and on here up up the line until you end up with an A shaped G, okay, which is way up here. Do, do, do. And then the the G shaped F. C is a um, a D shaped C, a D shaped C. So you can. Start from the D shape C up on the C here, and then end on the C there. So uh, it's a A shape G, right? So you're going to start with the G on there on the, in the A shape. You'd go something like, and then 
into the G-shaped uh, the G-shaped F so you go and then to the C which is going to be D-shaped Remember, if you know your scale, you can just do the little uh, scale fill, but that didn't really sound like good. So that's that's the important thing. Um, instead of being all over the place, for instance, look at this D here. So we've got a D-shaped G, a C-shaped F, and a G-shaped C, right? So a D-shaped G would be right here. Remember this, the thing starts Alright. And then to the C shape. And what I was going to say was, we don't want to take the D shape all the way from down here, right? So when we go, when we go... want to start almost on that D. So it'll go on that G rather. And then we're going to go that to the C shape. And then to that uh, C, right? So G shape C. Now remember, we follow that little part of the pentatonic. But I didn't want to start it particularly in that G shape C from the sixth. It's not a G anyway, it's a C, so it would go. So we would want to go. All right, so that last chord will go. All right, instead of, you know, starting it from its sixth, its third, rather. All right, that's, that's pretty much what's going on. So it, that, um, I know I kind of choked on most of that, but uh, let's just finish out because we've got about two minutes left. So what, what are the techniques involved here? We got the, the uh, different cage shapes. We start out in the C box, which is the easiest box here. And we're playing in the C box there. And the progression is G, F, C going down. Alright, so normally these are listed as one, four, five. These are shapes. Remember the, uh, you know, the, the E shape, is, it's going to be the E shape for the fourth, okay? Um, so we definitely start and we look at the look at the notes in the C box well, the C box is the first box on the guitar okay it's 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 the, it's the open string region you're gonna learn it here you're not gonna learn it up here you would want to start it here even though there's a temptation to say oh well, I know how to play an E I know how to play an E shape chord okay the progression starts okay let me start here want to start it here and learn these now remember this is the last thing I'm going to say is if you can't play the chord try to play the pentatonic scale it outlines the chord it includes the chord and great people have said that a chord or an arpeggio is the same thing good luck <laughs>